shout hallelujah chapter 4 verse 1 to verse 13 Saint Paul said as a prisoner for the Lord then I urge you to live a life worthy of, of the calling you have received be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing with one another in love making every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace there is one body and one spirit just as you were called to one hope when you were called one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is over all and through all and in all to but to each one of us grace has been given as christ apportioned it this is why it says when he ascended on high he led captives in his train and give gifts to men what does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions he who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to feel the whole universe it was he who gave some to be apostles some to be prophets some to be evangelists and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. May God somehow a direction in order for us to have that sense of fulfillment every turn of the year. It's not a, it's not like just changing the Chinese declaration of this year as the year of the rabbit. That's why they said, blessed are they who have big teeth. <laughs> we have this declaration because it is a statement. A statement of intentional declaration of living for God. Our declaration every year has only one focus. And that is to make a statement that I and you and everyone in us who says He is our Lord and our Savior will only live for Him. Amen. There is no other goal, no other motives. Whether we are living and we will be having big homes, driving new cars, whether we're going to bring in our families here, all those things are incidentals. It is not the intention of our life. Our life is only to live for Christ and for Christ alone. Can I hear amen? amen. Whether men recognize it, appreciate it or not, we made a declaration, a statement. This year, we had a very amazing and reasonable, re 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 realistic declaration. It's also a statement of the declaration of non-surrender to sin and temptation. That's why we are not making a New Year's resolu resolution. We are making a declaration. When you declare it, it means you will not take it back. Amen. Resolution is something you just try. If you don't make it, forget it. But declaration is something that you bring in even your soul. So that in order for that declaration to be removed, you must remove your soul. And you know, you cannot do that. It's also a statement of breaking of the flesh to total yielding to the Holy Spirit. Our declaration is we are making a statement that all, all the works of the flesh in this earthly body must be totally yielded. First broken, and then yielded to the Holy Spirit. And lastly, our declaration is a statement of working with God in raising up His champions in us. The champion is already in you. Look at your neighbor and say, there is a champion in you. A champion in us, by us, and through us, regardless of the cost or challenges it will take. A champion is only waiting for an opportunity to make things to happen. Number one of them. And everybody shall then say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Wow. 
The champions are noisy. Because we know the victory is always appointed for each and every one of us. Five biblical characters that God looks into to release an anointing of a champion. Let me share to you five things of five characters that somehow in their entire life, though it's not everything, victory, but in their overwhelming life is fun, they have a record that they became God's champion. First of the record is the oldest of all, Moses. In Exodus chapter 3, if you read the whole chapter of Exodus, it's about him and the nation of Israel that he had led. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 5 and Hebrews chapter 11 verse 24. This man, look, this man was found by God not in his greatness. Are you with me? He was found by God in his total humility. A character that God is looking in order for him to bring out a champion within that person. Humility implies total dependence upon God. Lord, not to be me. But God said, why not? Lord, because I don't know how to speak. I'm not like that person who speaks well. But God said, I look at the heart, not at the mouth. Lord, my color is not pleasing. My nose is even flat. But God is saying, I don't look at that. I look at the heart. A humble servant heart is a necessity to be raised up by God as champion. Number two, David. Where Samuel chapter 15 up to chapter 17, you will find David as a man of passion and zeal for the Lord and for his people. During the days of David, almost everyone are protecting their own territories, protecting their own properties, protecting their own name. But David has one thing he wants to protect. He wants to protect the integrity of his God and the people that carries the name of God with their God. Amen. We will not be tamed. We will not be silent. For we will let the whole world know Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of our Father in heaven. These are the spirits of champions. I will, you will not be employed if you will tell them you are Christians. So what? God will provide. Amen. Amen. Oh, you will not be accepted by that person if you will invite him or her to the church. So what? Amen. I cannot live without my Christ. I can live without husband or wife, but not without Christ. Amen. Passion and zeal for the Lord and His cause. Number three, Joshua. Wow. All the giants of the champions of God. Joshua. In Numbers, oh, in Joshua chapter 17, verse 9 to verse 13, and Numbers chapter 11, verse 28, he found Joshua an obedient and a man who honors others by serving and supporting Moses. So, I hope we can find so much in our generation today. Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to chapter 8. A character of submission and commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, the last one, Samson. We always remember Samson as a person who runs after Delilah and many champions are already there in their hearts in their dream and in their vision. This year is the year where it's our faith that none of us will fail again anymore and any deceiving deceptions of sin. That none of us will run away from our calling. None of us will doubt God. None of us will surrender in problems and trouble. But none of us will always be honored as the champion.